You can usually find 19-year-old Anthony Maida hanging out with his dog Buddy, working on his computer, or checking on his garden. Yeah, we've, got, we've still got plenty of basil either way. Oh yeah. Life was good until one afternoon. Yeah, I started having seizures, or at least noticeable seizures. Doctors tried controlling Anthony's seizures with medications, but nothing worked. Eventually, he was diagnosed with drug-resistant epilepsy, or DRE, a condition that affects millions worldwide. The seizures can make daily living a challenge and even be life-threatening. His lips would be blue, his mouth would be blue. Anthony's family turned to Mayo Clinic, where a team of researchers were conducting the first in human clinical trial of a potential new treatment for DRE using implanted brain cells. Anthony became Mayo's first patient to undergo the investigational therapy. I'm honestly in it to, to help people. Epilepsy occurs when there is an electrical imbalance in the brain. Certain brain cells, called interneurons, can help regulate brain activity by releasing something called gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA. GABA is a transmitter that is crucial in helping regulate brain activity. The clinical trial is investigating whether these interneurons can be implanted into the brain directly where the seizures originate. With the hope that over time, these cells become part of the brain and part of the body and then start to repair that broken circuit. To pinpoint that broken circuit, Mayo used a cutting edge MRI machine called the 7 Tesla, which created ultra high resolution images of Anthony's brain. Then, with Anthony under general anesthesia, a team of 20 experts guided a thin cannula into his brain, depositing the interneuron cells into the seizure zone in a one-time single dose. Anthony was discharged from the hospital the next day. Ah, I had no, no trouble with it, personally. Doctors are keeping a close eye on Anthony's progress. For now, Anthony says he's feeling good and back to doing the things he loves with hope in his heart. Other than not having to deal with it, I also hope that other people won't have to deal with it in the future. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Marty Velasco-Hames.